For this one, we're going to take a look at how to 3D track videos and pictures in Adobe After Effects. Now, in order to start tracking, you will need to search for an effect called 3D Camera Tracker. It will be this one right here and you want to apply it onto your video. Now, this can take a while depending on how long your video is, the resolution. You can speed this up by trimming your video down to only what you need it to work on. And then once it's finished, you can see it's plotted down all of the tracking points that we need. They will appear and disappear as the camera moves forward. There is two main options that you can change and customize if you wanted to change the visuals. The first one is the tracking point size if you want to make them larger and make them easier to see. This is great for 4K videos. And you can also change the target size. If you change it in here, this will change the size of this target mark right here. You can increase it if you're looking to make it larger. So you just want to have a look, see which is the best option available. For me, it is around here. We can then left click from here. You want to right click and get yourself a new solid. And what this will do is it will create you this solid right here. Now at the moment, it's just a plain color. You can see it has been tracked onto this plane. But what we're going to do is we're going to customize this and apply a video and a picture. Starting off with the position first, you can change the position. We can also increase the size and you just want to locate this and customize it to your personal preference. You can also rotate it. And then once you're happy with your solid, you can right click, go to pre comp. You want to make sure that you are selecting this one and call this one something like track video and picture. Go ahead and press OK. And now all we need to do in order to apply a video or a picture onto here is to double left click on here to open this up. This will open up this panel. And then from here, we can import the video and the picture. We're going to change the order and make sure that the picture is on top and the video is on top of this layer right here. We can change the scale by pressing S. And if we downscale this, we can also change the video of the car. And of course, the position as well. If you wanted to, you can also enable the title action save grid, and this will tell you exactly where the center is. And now if you go back onto your main comp, you will see that you now have your video and picture tracked onto this area right here. And the great thing about this is that you can always go back onto here and change anything. You can apply some changes. And once you go back onto this one, it will apply the changes. And that's pretty much it. That is how you 3D track videos and pictures in Adobe After Effects. You may also like this next tutorial up on the screen, but until next time, I'll see you all in that next video. Bye.